Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I'm Casey Freeman and this is my channel. Some dating advice that I would give my younger self is the first thing I would say is God gave you a mouth for a reason and that's to use it. And that's not to be a butthole to your significant other, but to definitely speak up and advocate on your behalf because you were definitely treated a little rough at some times in your life and you did not speak up for yourself. You were not there for yourself like you were there for your friends. You were riding for your friends, but you did not ride for yourself in these relationships with these kooky guys, okay? Like you did not do that. And so I wish that I would have definitely said how I feel. Um, and at the same time, like I wish I would have put myself in better situations to receive like, I wish I would have put myself around people who would have treated me better if I were expressing my emotions, if that makes sense. Like the person that I was dating was definitely not a kind person when it comes to like my emotions that were negative towards him. And so obviously it made it harder to have conversation because he was not receptive to what I was saying. Um, and I would also tell my younger self to be mindful of how you communicate with people because it is all very intentional with the words that you say and how you say it in your tone. It's all very intentional. Um, and honestly, like if what you're saying is not getting through in the correct way, then you need to change the way you're saying it or how you're saying it, not what you're saying, but just like maybe rephrasing it to make sense because not everyone communicates the same way. So definitely looking back at communication, looking back at like checking in with myself and seeing how I'm feeling um, in the situation and leaving when things no longer serve me. Like I definitely stayed in relationship longer than I should have. Just, just longer than I should have. It wasn't for a reason. It didn't serve me a purpose. I just knew I should have left and I just didn't. Um, and after certain relationship, I wish I would have put myself out there a little bit more to receive love because after, like I'm a person that's gonna like, you can do whatever you're gonna do and I'm just gonna govern myself accordingly, right? So when my feelings were not validated or not heard, then that made me shut down like emotionally. And so that's why I became the savage that I became. And I wish I would not have done that because it definitely does not lend itself for any long-term like use. It's definitely short-term gratification whenever you're like hard hearted, you know? Um, it's just a protection mechanism that you place up on yourself and I don't feel like that's that's what God wanted me to do. Um, I also wish that I would have been more intentional with my dating life in general um, because like you're definitely not going to find your I let me oh, hold on I knew that I was not going to find my significant other in the club that is just not my thing. That's just not my thing. That's not what, where I want to spend my life. That's not where I want them to spend their life. And so I just don't feel like that is gonna serve me. Other people, it could be their thing. I don't know. It's just not my thing. It's just not me. I wish that I would have told my younger self is not everyone is supposed to be your person. So just because you had a bad experience with someone does not mean that other people will treat you the exact same way. There are plenty of people out here that are waiting to love you, that want to love you the correct way, and your person is out there. And that doesn't mean that you have to go searching for them, but definitely open your heart to allow them to come into your life and serve you in the way that God wanted them to serve you. Um, I didn't see a need to give relationship advice to people who were in relationship and I was not in relationship. I feel like whenever you do pick your person, like your person comes to you and you guys are both like, hey, like let's make this a longer thing. I would definitely encourage you to find friends, like older mentors or older people to keep in your life, to touch base with them about like relationship because they've already done it. And they can definitely give you words of wisdom to help you not fall in the same pitfalls that they did. And that is, something that I look forward to doing in the future and in my 30s because I know that there are great mentors out there who are in wonderful relationships. There are some people in that have not been in great relationships that you can learn lessons from, but that doesn't mean that you discount them just because they're single. Um, 
they may have a lesson for you and you take that and you move on, right? So I feel like everyone is here. Everyone that's in your life is there for a purpose. Hopefully this helps some of you, if not all of you with your dating life, because I know that I have, I have not done relationship well intentionally after some of my relationships because I didn't, I didn't want to put myself in a vulnerable position and I knew what I was doing when I was not being open, but obviously I could have pushed a lot of a or my person away at this point, but I feel like if I did, like God would bring somebody like better in my life. But anywho, so that's my dating advice for my younger self. And I don't know, like I look forward to seeing what's to come. Like I'm extremely optimistic about the next six months of my life okay see you in the next video bye guys